Okay, can I just say props to me for remembering to put the sketch at the beginning of this video because I never remember to put the sketch at the beginning of this video. So the sketch this month is from Sketchabilities and I'm going to play with some mixed media. Specifically, I'm going to be playing with some Vicki Booten mixed media. I ended up like everything I picked was hers. So um, I have a stencil and I have the iridescent glaze and I have the art crayons and we're going to have some fun with them. So I'm going to adhere my stencil down to this page using this purple tape from Thermoweb, which I adore. It's kind of like my new favorite thing. It sits on my counter or it sits on my desk and I use it for lots of fun. Okay, so iridescent glaze. Iridescent glaze is the most fabulous thing ever because you can use art crayons and you can mix them together and you can get whatever color your heart desires. Literally, whatever color your heart desires. Um, also, I love my media mat for this very reason because I mixed up all this mixed media on my media mat and it just wiped up. Super duper easy. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a bit of the art crit, I'm adding it to my board and then I'm using this little palette knife to mix it into the iridescent glaze and this took a little bit of time because I wanted a specific color so I'm using a little bit of red and a little bit of purple and I want a really light I'm going for like a light pink color so I'm just adding a little bit and then mixing it around really good and then adding a little bit more and mixing it around really good and then putting it through the stencil many of you have asked me how I am liking my media mat and I adore it adore it it's fabulous I really 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 want to get the tools that go with it because I think the tools would be awesome especially that ruler oh I want the ruler really 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 bad so I'm kind of saving up for it um, and I'm just adding this in here now sometimes when you do this you will end up like you'll see that pink kind of blob there where I missed a bit of art crayon but it's totally fine doesn't bother me in the least and this is why I love purple tape because it doesn't stick to my paper and then it will re-stick down where I want it to <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back on and now I'm gonna do the other side of my page so I did the mixed media super early in the day in the morning and then I cleaned everything up and I left it sit for mm, a long time till the afternoon till my kids were done with school and my chores were done for the day and my gram was settled and everyone was happy so probably like after dinner-ish and now what I did was was I took the mat that comes off of the mixed media mat and I added the Vicky Booten crayons the same two colors I used for the stenciling only this time I just added water and took a brush and kind of mixed it around till I had a nice color I loved and now this is gold. Woohoo! <laughs> so I am using a basil marshmallow cardstock. Um, I don't think you could do this with any other cardstock without putting gesso on it because I think if you used any other cardstock to do that you would end up with it um, soaking right in. Um, so I wanted to get lots of drips and then I'm taking my paintbrush and kind of smushing it around in a couple different places and then I'm going to add a little bit more of my uh, crayon and a little more water and I'm going to do it all over again the exact same thing until I have some drips that I really like. Just smoosh it down and I don't know if I did this on camera or not but I did blot up with a paper towel when I was done so that all of that water didn't um, end up messing with my paper at all. So yep super easy. Color the crayons, add some water, mix it up, drop it on your paper. And then pop it up with a paper, get the extra off with a paper towel, and you're good to go. So I'm digging into my stash and into my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit this for September. 
to for this layout I am going to use these two photos of my niece and I am pulling the, one of my hoarded Prima 6x6 paper pads. I think this collection is called Delight and it's old. So this is like throwback antique Prima. But I love it. So I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to grab a little bit, some patterns, a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. Um, I'm going and I'm going to use these to build up behind my photo. So if you saw the sketch, there was the mixed media in the background and then the two photos and then t tons of layers behind the two photos and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna build up some paper layers behind these two photos. So I'm gonna have to trim my papers down a bit just to get the layers just the way I want it. So I'm taking like maybe two inches off of some of the papers. Uh, just to make them smaller and I don't want them to be squares anymore. I'd like them to be rectangles or long rectangles like you see there. And so I'm just going to trim up different pieces of the papers. Um, I know that this bottom ledger paper, this light pink bottom ledger, is the part of that pattern that I want. So I'm just going to take off that piece and um, I'm going to go ahead and get my photos attached to this diagonal stripe paper which I thought was so pretty and I'm going to put the two photos together like that so the sketch calls for two square photos but I'm not doing two square photos I'm doing two three by four photos um, I thought initially I had thought well I'll just choose my three by four photos and then I'll go ahead and cut them into three by three squares but I was really in the mood to play with um, pinks and prima and my mixed media and all those fun goodies. I was really in the mood to play with them. Um, and so when I chose my photos, I knew I couldn't turn those into three by three. So just gonna work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mess with my layers. So my idea is that I don't wanna cover up more than this mix, more of this, of my background than I absolutely have to. Of course, it, it's a background, so it's gonna have to go into the background. But I love how it turned out, so I wanted as much of it kind of peeking out from the sides of my layers as I possibly could get. So I've gone ahead now and I've inked all of the layers with Vintage Photo Distress Ink, and I've adhered all the layers together along with my photo. And now I'm pulling out the acetate. So the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group, the product focus, for September is acetate and so I knew I wanted to use a little bit of acetate on this layout and so I pulled these fun acetate words from Heidi Swap and we're going to use that fancy one as part of our title. Um, funny story about acetate, they always have that like little, um, I don't know, that covering on them to keep them safe or whatever. I am like the worst at getting those off. I'm telling you what, it's ridiculous how hard it is for me to get the that clear plastic coating off of acetate pieces. I have no idea what my problem is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to lose my voice. But I just, I can't. I have no, I, I don't understand it at all. But it just doesn't work for me. So most of the time I like to adhere my acetate down with staples, but honestly staples were not going to work with this layout. So I'm just putting little dots of this Nouveau adhesive down behind where the words are. And that held it and you can't see it and perfect. So my title is going to be Hello Fancy Girl. And I did say we were stash busting, right? So I pulled these puffy stickers from... Um, Felicity Jane from a really old, old, old Felicity Jane kit, and I, I have just enough letters to spell out girl. And part of that, one of those pages that I pulled from that Delight paper pad is this a piece that says like one, two, three, four, five. It's a light blue. There's blue in, there's that really light blue in other parts of the layout, so I wanted to add just a little touch more of it to make it look intentional and not um, pull it all together. So that it just has the numbers on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up how old my niece was in these photos. She was two months old. And I'm going to circle the two and add months using some flat stickers from my stash because I'm also on a mission to use flat stickers this month. So I pulled this really pretty flat sticker from Upstairs Pages. Next are these label stickers, which is some of the product I pulled for my um, 
How to Kill Kit with Style for the month of September. I'm going to go ahead and use one of those to stamp my date stamp. And then I have all of these die cuts. So these die cuts were just sitting on my table. I've had them on my table for a while and I wanted to use them. That Hello is from Ink Road. These really delicate flowers and leaves are from my add-on kit that comes with my that you can buy in addition to my new class over on my website. So if you really like those, you can buy them with you can buy the kit without buying the class. So, but um, these are the little die cut flowers and leaves, and I'm going to use them today. And then these bigger clusters of flowers are from um, Ink Road Stamps, the Bella Flora. Bella Flora die cut set. So lots of fun die cuts. I really loved, I thought like these flowers were really, really beautiful and I had a bowl of them sitting on my table and I really, really want to use them. I don't want them to end up getting smushed. And so I decided I would use them on this page. So yes, if you are interested in those flowers, you can um, buy the kit, the little elegant kit that's on my website. And there's a link below for that. So what I'm going to do here is I don't really want them to be white and I have that gold title. So I want to be able to color them. And these die cuts are cut from really heavy paper so I know that they will be totally fine if I spray them. So I'm going to put them over on my media mat again and I'm going to, oh first I'm going to add some splatters. So this is Shimmers in Cotton Candy. And I've broken the nozzle at the top of this one, so I can't spray it anymore. But I'm going to drip some more of the pink drips into the top right and bottom left of my layout. Um, because I was feeling like the background needed a, a something more, a little more messiness, I guess would be the word. And I also felt like the mixed media was kind of really contained to the bottom and the middle and there was nothing up at the top and I felt like it really needed just a little something up at the top to pull it all together. So this is Shimmer's Golden Days Spray. This is the one that I think would be the perfect, perfect addition to anyone's craft room if you love Heidi Shine and um, Heidi, you know, the gold color shine and you can't get it anymore. And so what I did was I just sprayed these and then I blotted off some of the excess moisture and now I have these light kind of golden colored die cuts and I'm just making sure to get all as much of the wet up because these die cuts will take a good bit of wet but I don't want to put too much on them because I really don't want to degrade them at all. Um, they don't have gesso or anything on them. Um, okay and now we're going to let these dry just a minute or two and then adhere them to our page. So I've gone ahead and adhered all those layers to my page and now I'm just going to go ahead and tuck in these die cuts. So because my layout is, um, there's lots of mixed media on there, I'm adhering everything down, everything that's adhered to my background is adhered using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which um, I love, 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 love. I bought a bottle to try it and you know if you watch my channel that I'm always saying how much I love it. I really love it. It's just it's fabulous. Um, so I'm just going to adhere all of those die cuts down exactly where I had them initially when I chose, when I was messing with them and tucking them in and stuff. And then I'm going to add a date stamp to my layout just to for the date that these photos were taken. And then the last little thing I'm going to do is I want to do the edges of the entire layout with the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. All my layers are inked with this ink and um, I wanted to ink the border just to give it a little ending spot and to kind of bring it all together. So that will complete this layout today. Thank you so so much for stopping by. Be sure to check out the video lineup below for all the girls that do this series. Um, this series was put together by Janet Fritz who is gallery, Galaxy Girl on YouTube and she does a fabulous job of choosing just the right sketches and we are having a great time bringing you this series of videos. Have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon.